Now it's the perfect time to introduce Laravel Sanctum because we need it to fetch an authenticated user. And the most important thing is to understand how it works so that you can be able to apply it in any project. And I'm going to explain it in a very simple way so that you, ex you understand how it works. So the first thing we will do, we'll go to the editor, then go to kernel.php, then this line 42 and comment it. And then you can save. And here we see it states that it ensures front-end requests are stateful. So that simply means it ensures all the requests that are coming via the API.php, they can be authenticated using cookie-based authentication. But what exactly is cookie-based authentication and how does Laravel Sanctum play part in this? Let's see what happens. So this is what happens. When you come to the browser, I'm going to register. So I've signed up. So now I'm registered. When you go to the request, you click on it. You'll see here we have response headers. And this is what Laravel application gives us in exchange of giving it our information. And when you scroll down, you see here we have set cookies. And here the first one, it has CSRF token. And this is responsible for protecting you from cross-site request forgery. Then when you scroll down, we have this set cookie Laravel session and we have this ID. Now this is very important. You can think of this ID as a phone number. So you give Laravel your information and then it gives you a unique phone number. Now hold that thought up to that point. So you have a unique phone number, Laravel has your information and it also has a copy of that unique phone number. So now let's go to the editor and here we have an example of a route that is there by default. I didn't create it and this route when you go to forward slash API user it should return a user. So how does it return a user? This is what happens. The moment you hit this endpoint, the browser will automatically send what you have here in the header along with the requests. So when it gets to the server, now we have a request to uh, that wants to fetch a user and also along it is carrying the the, the ID, which we said it's like the phone number. So Laravel Sanctum, so this is the first thing that will be hit, the, the middleware. So the Sanctum will check the phone number from the browser. And then it will compare with all the phone numbers that it has. Then if we have a match, it will automatically know it's Alfio because the phone number was unique. And if you have a match, it will allow you to continue with the request and now you'll be able to hit this end. And then you'll be able to get the user so it knows it's Alfio because of the phone number, which was unique. If it fails at this point, you'll not be able to get to this point. Simple. That's how cookie-based authentication works. So it's a cookie, but inside the cookie, we have a session, a session ID, sorry. And that session ID is what will be compared. And you can think of it as a phone number to make it simple. So let's apply that to fetch the authenticated user that has just logged in. So this is the ID of that user. So we'll go to dashboard. And then here, I'm going to have a data property then data function not a property then um, we are going to return an empty object and we are going to have name as an empty string by default then we are going to say whenever this component is mounted so we are going to use mounted method we want to do something so we want to make a request to the server so we'll use Axios, so this dot, not this, Axios 
dot get then the endpoint is api then user so if it's successful so we can say dot then so if that is successful what we will do we'll just take the response the response and then just console log it response and if the request is not successful so let's catch the error say error and then you can just console log the error okay and that's it so now the moment this component is mounted we are going to hit this end and then we are going to send our phone number that we received along with along with the, that request then we will hit the api then sanctum will take charge and will confirm is that number your number is sorry is that number present in my system yes if yes who does it belong to alpha so i will return alpha details but if there is no match of that number it will fail so let's test this and see if it will work come back so go to the console and yeah it's working we have a response because it has compared and it has found a match so here to grab the name so you can think of the whole object as a response then inside it we have data then inside data we can grab name so here we can come and say console log uh, response dot data dot name let's see what we get and we get the name simon so now we can output that so we can say here instead of console logging let's remove the console log we can say this dot name is equal to response dot data dot name so then here we can output the name say name save Let's see if that works and there we go we are able to grab the name now let me prove to you that if the id don't match it won't work so if i go to application i go to cookies then these are the cookies for this domain and i clear them so now when we make another request we refresh it will make a new ref a new request and then there will be nothing to send there will be no id to send so when we when we hit here sanctum will not receive any id so it will not know who you are so it will fail let's refresh the page and see if it will fail so go to console and refresh and there we go it fails and here we get an error unauthorized and that's it that's how it works simple as that and that's it for this video see you in the next video where we are going to talk about logging out Yes.